First thing I did was I immersed them all in my irresponsibly hot tap water for about 10 minutes. Uh, shook each can for a minute. I sprayed on one coat. All of the paints have been allowed to dry for at least seven days. According to all of the manufacturers' websites and information sheets, they need between five and seven days, so uh, we are beyond that. Then for the minis, these are all Reaper Bones Orc Swordsmen. I bought two new packages of them. I washed all of them with soapy water using a toothbrush, patted them dry, dried them in front of a fan so they'd be very dry. It will be Krylon Camouflage. And I am going to try to zoom in here a little bit. There we go. And uh, I like this. It's a nice satin finish. Uh, it's almost matte, but there's you know a little bit of a shine to it. So from a stickiness perspective, there's a little bit of stickiness here. Um, having tested all of these uh, before I started, I'm going to say that this is a one out of five. Coverage on it is good. And... It looks like the paint is adhering to the plastic pretty well. So <clears throat> there we go. This was $7.71 on Amazon. And this little one is going to go into the jar of dice. And we are back. So this is the Krylon camouflage after being rattled around. Uh, first thing to notice is there is some damage to the flat spots here on the base. And other than that, he looks pretty good. Uh, you know, not super sad that the base is a little beat up. But yeah. So let's see how the shield takes paint. How does this primer take paint? That feels good. That's going on. Uh, should surprisingly thick, but feels like the primer wants to hold on to the pigment and the uh, acrylic base in here. I like that quite a lot. And having used this before, uh, I'm not surprised. It's been a few minutes. Let's take a look at the Krylon. Get this in real close here and try to get it to focus. Thank you, old phone. That's not bad for a first coat. Um, if I was going to do uh, other parts of this mini, I would thin this out just a little bit more. I do like... Uh, very thin coats and building up. So um, there we go. That's the Krylon camouflage. Final thoughts on this. Uh, with the Krylon camouflage, uh, I like the results on this orc. I have used this before. I sort of knew what to expect coming in. I don't think that the tackiness of the model is a problem. It might actually be a benefit in this case. For $7.71, I would buy this again.